Hi, I'm Sandra and in this video I'm going to explain what pass by reference and pass by value is in Java. So what I've typed up here so far of my main method, where I'm going to call the two methods I have underneath. One of them is called cannot change the original primitive and I'm going to pass in an int into that. And the other method is called can change the object's contents. So there's a hint of what happens anyway. And I'm going to pass a bank account object in there and I have the bank account object underneath or bank account class underneath and it has a balance of 200. This isn't written properly, that's not properly encapsulated, that balance should be private with methods to retrieve and change it. So I'm keeping it simple just for this example. In main I'm going to declare um, an int number and give it the value of 10. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pass that value down to this method underneath. So call the method by its name, pass in number, and down in this method, it also has a variable called number, but just to know that it's not the same one that's on line six. So line six is a variable called number, line 12 also has a variable called number. Both of those variables are local to where they are declared. So number on line six can only be seen within main, and number on line 12 can only be seen inside that method. So inside cannot change the original primitive. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to say that number gets changed to 2000. I'm going to print it out here inside the method. So inside method number is, I'm just concatenated on there, number. I'm going to run that as it is just to show you what's happening there so far. The number is 2000 and back up here in main just to print it out again. Back in main, back in main number is and concatenated on there. Number and run that. Control F11 will run that. So inside the method, the number has been changed to 2000, but back in main, the number is 10. Now, let me draw a diagram just to demonstrate what's going on here. So number in main, that has an area in memory. I have to excuse my really bad drawings. Uh, it gets a value of 10. When the, the method is called, a copy of 10 is passed down to here. So it doesn't know about that one up there in main. So this variable here, number, refers to a different area of memory and it has a copy of 10 in it. Line 15, 2000 gets assigned to number. So it's not 10 anymore. That's now going to be 2000. So on line 16, inside method, number is. So inside here, it now sees the change there, 2000. And when that method is finished, it will go back to where it was called from. And on line nine, back in main, the number is, and that refers to the one most local there. So that's where it hasn't changed and it's still at 10. So when you pass a primitive into a method, the method, it, can, it gets a copy of it. It can change its copy. So the number on 915 is changing the copy. It is not changing the original. And now for the bank account underneath. So back in main, what I need to do is I want to create an instance of that bank account underneath. Bank account equals new bank account. And now I'm going to call the method underneath called can change the object's contents and pass that account into it. Down inside the method, it's going to use the reference that was passed in account dot balance and it's going to change it to one million. I'm going to print that out down here inside the method. Inside. Inside method. Balance is. And I'll just correct the spelling there now in a second. Inside the method. Balance is and concatenate on there so account dot balance. And now back in main after that can change the account contents, print it out again. System type dot print back in main. Balance is 
and again account dot balance. So I'll run this and then I will draw a diagram for you as well. Squashing this up. Now run that. So let me draw a diagram for this as well. Now line 10 has an account reference. Okay, so that refers to an area of memory for a bank account. Okay, so here's my bank account object. And in there, there is a variable called balance. And it starts off there down, if you look down on line 31, you can see that the balance is 200. So it starts off with a balance of 200. So that's from line 10. An account object is created. It has a balance inside it. It gets a value of 200. Can change the object contents. That method is called on line 12. And what gets passed is basically this arrow. So it says here is where the object is in memory. So that gets passed down to line 22. And it also has a variable also called account but it gets past where the object is in memory, so it too can look at the same area of memory. Line 24, 1 million gets assigned to the balance inside that account object. So it follows the account reference inside it, gets to the balance and changes that to 1 million. Let me type this. And 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So the balance has changed to 1 million. In on line 25, inside method balances, account.balance, it uses the account, it goes into the uh, object and it prints out 1 million. When this is finished here, uh, control will return back up to the end of line 12, so next line, back in main, balances. Again, there's a reference up here for account, follows it to the object, gets the balance and it has been changed to 1 million. And you can see those printouts down there below. So the moral of the story is, if you pass a primitive into a method, the method gets a copy of the primitive and any changes it makes is changing the copy, not the original. When you pass a, an object reference into a method, you're telling the method where the object is in memory. So you're giving the method permission to access the memory and change anything inside that memory inside that object's memory and that is it and just finally just on strings if you pass a string into a method the string is immutable which means it cannot be changed and a new object would have to be changed would have to be created every time so strings even though they are objects they act the same as passing a primitive into a method because strings are immutable and new ones would be created every time so that is pass by primitive or pass by reference, which is the, the object, and pass by primitive, which is the likes of an int or a string.